So today we're going to talk you through how to set the valve timing on a four-stroke radio control engine. Um, as you can see, we've got the engine partially stripped down uh, with the head off, and there is no currently no cam wheel in in the engine. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to make sure that the uh, piston is in the top dead center position. So that's it; it's full fullest point where it would be on compression and a fire, just the firing stroke. I'm going to take the cam wheel and uh, as you can see there is a dot point which shows us where the uh, position for the timing is. There you see. It's sometimes easier to see than others but you can see it quite clearly there and that is our guide as to where we're going to put this thing. Now we're holding it gently in a pair of pliers. We're just going to drop that in and uh, we want that dot mark at about 5 to 11. Um, if we imagine a center line running down through the pushrod tubes through the center of the cam gear, whilst the piston is in that top dead center position that the dot on the cam wheel needs to be in line with that imaginary center line. You can see it there. If it doesn't go in in the right place first time, it's perfectly acceptable to just drop it round by one tooth. Um, it's important to get this thing right because if you don't, the valve timing will be out and the engine will run like a bag of nails. So it's just important to get it there, as you can see. And uh, then we take the cam cover with the bearing fitted. Now if you're putting a new cam cover on, you'll need to push the bearing into the cam cover before you start. And with the ga with the, so with the cam cover and its gasket, we then just place that over the and tighten. Now once that is set, because it's a gear wheel, it can't adjust by itself, it's set and set for life. And uh, if the engine runs badly from there, then it's most likely not the uh, cam timing, because you've, you're certain you've set it right. And you can see there the tappet or the follower just going up and down as the cam rocks back and forth. And there you go. You can then can reassemble your engine and run it knowing that you've got your cam, your valve timing set correctly.